Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Eli. And Mike, this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company and all of our football coverage this year is sponsored by our friends at Memorial Care. It's a cloudy night at Wilson as the Friday night lights are up as the Bruins are going to be hosting Compton. The Bruins looking to get their first win in league while Compton's looking to go 2-0 after beating Cabrillo last week. Those baby blues are looking crispy. Really excited for this matchup over at 7th and Eximino. Compton is going to win the coin toss and elect to receive for the first half right off the bat. It's Boom. Isaiah Young laying the lumber. Wilson trying to set the tone early. Compton with the ball in their uh, hands after receiving the kickoff. It's going to be double wing offense. Tyree Shepard's going to get the ball twice up the middle, getting two early carries. But however, a fumbled snap will pretty much represent the night for Compton as they were unable to get things fully going. And then it's Jeremiah Navarro and company with the stop to force a punt on fourth down. After a muff punt, the Bruins would start at their own four-yard line, and Matt Cooper gets his day started to Christian Chapman around the left side to the 25. Then on the second play from scrimmage, Wilson gets the ball to their guy, and it's Leighton Scott doing the rest, 75 yards, touchdown, to put him up 7-0. to zero. Mike, that's just two plays, and that's 96 yards for the touchdown. That's Leighton Scott. You've heard it before. Every single Wilson video is going to be a Leighton Scott highlight reel. However, on the ensuing kickoff, Nate Willard is going to take this one up to midfield in the return, setting up Compton with good field position in Bruin territory. That was the spark they were looking for. It's incomplete on this deep third down pass, but a P.I. is called on the play. Set Compton up in the red zone to start the next quarter. Quarterback Francis Madura is going to hand this one off to Shepard to set them inside the five where Madura is going to do it himself for the rest. It's going to be 7-7 early in the game. A quick tie. Well, and that's exciting. You know, you got more league action. You want to see some good stuff here. But on Wilson's very first play of the next drive, it's Chapman all the way for the touchdown. Just three plays from scrimmage. And the Bruins have 171 yards and two touchdowns. That's a pretty good pace, Eli. I'm not a math major, but if you project out 60 yards and 0.75 touchdowns per play, it looks good. You can't be mad at that. And you also can't be mad at this. It's going to be Caden Draper is going to get this fumble after the snap is high, setting them up at the one-yard line where it's going to be Scott again for the touchdown to make it 21-7. Scott in there for a second touchdown of the night. He said, see you, Leighton. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a fake laugh. I respect it, though. On Compton's next drive, they try the passing game with this screen to Ronnie Mixon, and then Madera's going to work the left side to Deontay Dill. Compton crossing midfield into Bruin territory, and again, looking to keep it going. Passing However, game, Madera rolling out. This one's picked off by Navarro, and it's going to be the Bruin ball going the other way. Then again, it's going to be Cooper to Chapman. This one's going to be picked off the turf from Chapman. He's going to take it down near the 21-yard line, getting spun around over down on the turf. And then it's going to be the Bruins mixed up this time. It's going to be Ian Bond from Cooper. Bond's going to take it around the left sideline. He's going to go up into the end zone. The Bruins are going to take a 28-7 lead, lead as they go into the halftime. Wilson definitely asserting themselves on their home field, trying to get their momentum going in the Moore League with a win here over the babes but we take our break shout out to the wilson cheer team hosting these youth cheerleaders and also shout out to the former bruin greats athletes and coaches celebrated at halftime as the eight new inductees of the wilson hall of fame terry kennedy and some other wilson legends getting their due but then back to the field it's going to be the bruins receiving the second half kickoff and right back to the ground is chapman as chapman is going to get a house call once again chapman again in for his second touchdown of the night these kids can ball mike the house is kind of like borderline stocking Chapman at this they point. They call calling so often. You know what I mean? It, it's like chill out a little bit. Right back at it, the Bruins get a turnover on downs, and now it's Ian Bond again for a score. Wilson scoring six touchdowns with three players scoring two each in Scott, Chapman, and Bond, the leaders early for this Wilson offense this season. Yeah, three of them with two touchdowns. Can you really complain at that? And then it's going to be shout out to the Wilson defense for stepping up as well. The Bruins are just as well after getting tied up at seven, holding the Compton offense to very small plays like these. But however, on fourth down, Madura is going to drop back and lob this one up to Dill for the catch, going out of bounds inside the five yard line. You respect the way Compton keeps fighting in these games. It's tough when you find yourself down, but Willard takes the handoff to get into the end zone for Compton for another touchdown. Wilson would take the win 42 to 13, evening these two teams at one and one in league play. Wilson will be at home next week for senior night against Cabrillo and Compton will take a bye before playing Jordan in two weeks. For those two games and all of more league football games, make sure to keep it right here with the 562.org.